Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers at Mishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our direct fit oil cooler kit for the 2007 to 2011 Jeep Wrangler JK. Let's check it out. Tools needed to install the Mishimoto direct fit oil cooler kit onto the 2007 to 2011 Jeep Wrangler JK are quarter drive ratchet, extension, 10 millimeter socket, universal, 10 millimeter wrench, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, pop foot pliers, oil, and a funnel. Installation time is about two hours and is a two out of five on the difficulty level. First thing we're gonna do is disconnect the negative battery terminal. Next, remove the four pop clips that hold the upper radiator shroud to the radiator. Next, unplug the air sensor. Next, loosen the clamp on the intake hose and then remove the intake hose. Next, remove the PCB hose from the air box. Now you can remove the air box from the truck. Next, unplug the turn signals from the grill. Next, remove the six screw clips from the top of the front grill. Sometimes these don't always want to go up, so use a small flathead screwdriver to help work it up. Once you have the six screw clips removed, you can remove the grill. You're going to have to put a little bit of pressure underneath the grill to depop it, but it'll come off. Next, remove the four pop clips from the side radiator flaps. Remove the oil filter from the oil filter housing. Next, install the sandwich plate to the oil filter housing. Before you do this, leave up the O-ring with some oil. Next, we're gonna loosely install the banjo fittings to the sandwich plate. Next, using a 27 millimeter socket, torque the center bolt that holds the sandwich plate to the engine down to about 35 foot-pounds of torque. Next, take both of the oil core lines and run them by the side of the radiator between the radiator and the radiator support down to the oil filter housing. Next, thread the 90 degree fittings onto the banjo fittings. Okay, before we install the cooler onto the truck, we're going to install the brackets loosely onto the cooler. So we're going to start off with mounting the bottom brackets. Next, install the L bracket to the upper left corner of the cooler. Next, loosely install the lower parts of the lower brackets. Next, thread the lines onto the cooler. Okay, now we can slide the oil cooler over into position. Using the provided pop clip, fasten the upper bracket to the rad support. Now we can tighten all the brackets to the oil cooler.
Once you're done loosely installing all of the oil line fittings, go ahead and tighten them all down with a one inch wrench. Remember, do not over tighten them. Next, reinstall the oil filter to the sandwich plate. Next, reinstall the air intake box assembly. Tighten the clamp that holds the intake tube to the throttle body. Once you've finished, re-plug in the mass airflow sensor. Don't forget to redepress the red tab. That's a safety so that it will not pop off. Next, install the front grill back onto the truck. Install the six screw clips onto the top of the grill. Re-plug in the turn signals. Next, reinstall the negative terminal onto the battery. Last thing we need to do is add about a quart of oil. Now that you have the oil cooler kit installed, go ahead and turn your car on and then check for leaks. Okay, that concludes the install. Take your car out for a ride and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.